This is about the refit tool. I think it's confusing because the people that want to use it don't expect that they have to do much work to get it to actually work. And the opposite is true. It requires a great deal of work one time and then it becomes useful. Another thing that is confusing is the use of the bodies, the mesh bodies. They are not used at all, ever, for anything except this, shaping the base refit object. We're going to make two refit objects, one for Belize of Venus and Belize of Jake and it will transfer the shape of our source garment to the target refit objects. We need a refit object and I use Marvelous Designer for that. You can do this other ways if you like. This works for me. I don't need another way. So I need a garment that is not a garment. It is just a shape. And I'm going to do a s simple one here. I'm not going to do the legs, just the top, because I'm going to do a uh, skirt, I guess. Oops. Escape that. And I'll use this to refit it to Jake. And I forgot a shoulder here. Split this. This object doesn't have to be perfect. It's not aesthetically pleasing. In order to make this easier for me, I'm going to split the arms off. That's right, there's no sewing yet, is there? Well, I think there was a little... I think I sewed it as a matter of, yeah, cutting it. The other one isn't there. I'm gonna... Um, I'll sew those together. That's already sewed. I'll select those parts and move them over. Depending on the shape of your garment, you could change this, change the shape of this make it more distant or closer or 
be creative to get your garments to work right. To reshape right. should be good enough. Okay, so this is a little different and that's why I cut the arms. I'm going to reshape them in the 3D window. I'm going to first distance the item from the body. these. I'm going to rotate these. And put them in place. Should be alright. See what happens. Now you can't add cloth, you can't tessellate, you can't change the particle distance, or it will change the vertex order. The only reason this works is because the top topology, the vertex order is exactly the same for each refit object. You can, you can do this, you can manipulate the, uh, the fabric. I don't recall if I can actually move something in this area. I wouldn't do it, but you can use steam. Do not re-sew anything. Do not take out sewing. And let's try and drape this. Okay, now we have an object for Jake. You want you don't want to make any any major local changes. For instance, you don't want this portion of the garment to move down too much or up too much. You want it to stay in a relative 
area. So this doesn't have to be perfect. I think we're done with that. We can export it now. And that will be for Jake. Now I can bring these into Blender. The garment I'll be transmitting is this here. I want it to be understood that the bodies mean nothing. There is one tool that does consider the body. One, actually one feature of the tool, but I don't want to confuse anything. The bodies are meaningless. Did I export something wrong? No. Nope. I may have... What is that? What am I seeing? Is it some, a hidden collection? Jake over. And I'm going to bring in Venus. Now I've got Venus and Jake, and they are the target. And I need to choose the source, which is the the, uh, the dress outfit. Uh, mesh tools, I believe. Refit. This is the garment source, the thing that you actually want to reshape. And then you choose your targets. I can select and click and choose two targets here. Lock the wrap object. Um, what happened? One object only. I choose. Oh, um, I need a carrier, which is the base of the base wrap object here. And then I can choose my targets, and that can be multiple. And then that's it. This will turn into a Jake shape. As you can see here, some work is required, of course. Um, and, but if Jake were there, it would it would be a better fit. So I have I already have um, proportional editing on. I can just move some of this up here. So that saves a lot of time.